Hi, it's David. Um, I am a teacher at Still Life Ceramic Studios. Um, I teach in Santa Monica. Today I'm going to be doing um, coloring. What we're going to go over is compressing the clay into make sort of a narrow neck, right? So you would do that when you're doing a bottle or if you wanted to make a narrow point in a pitcher. Uh, so anytime you're going to want to bring the clay into from a wider point to a narrower point, we're, we call that collaring. Okay, um, collaring is a little trickier than some of the other things that we're learning to do. When we're collaring, it the it, the clay doesn't do it as easily. It it has to do with how the particles of clay are shaped. Um, they're sort of they're sort of oblong and jagged and they they don't go this way because they bang into each other as easily as they pull apart. So um, so we have to coax it, we have to be gentle um, in 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 our movement of this of this procedure. Okay, so I'm gonna get ready. Um, I'm going to uh, talk through the process. Um, I'm just going to have you be close up on my hands as I go through it and um, I will see you at the end of the demonstration. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to, first of all, obviously, I'm going to have to center. So I'm going to, not going to spend a lot of time going through the centering process because we covered that in, we covered that in our first lesson. But basically, just to reiterate, we're looking for that cone shape, and then two hands pressing down, right hand locked in, okay, so we have that sort of flat plateau shape. Now we're going to make our opening. And we're going to open with our thumbs. Leaving just about somewhere between a half to a quarter of an inch of clay at the bottom. Now we're going to pull our bottom keeping our fingers nice and vertical just making the bottom nice and flat. I'm going to come in and set my bottom which is basically just compressing by running my fingers back and forth across the bottom with gentle pressure. Now we're ready for our first pull. I'm going to slow my speed down just a little bit. I'm squeezing my fingers together. We're setting up the first pull. Okay. Put indentation at the base so I can get some of that bottom clay out. A little bit of water or slip, depending. And we're going to start our first pull. Stopping just about an eighth of an inch from the top, so I leave this a little bit of excess clay up here at the lip. I always like to do that regardless of what I'm, form I'm working on, just so that we can I have a little extra clay to allows me to do an extra little bit of height or an extra little you know little flare at the end. 
I just want to have that option of, of having that little extra bit of clay left. Okay, again, a little indentation. Put some slip on it. Now I need to bring my outside finger up to meet my inside finger, keeping my thumb on, on my, of my inside hand on my outside hand so they work together. So outside finger comes up, matches with my inside finger. Now they're together, we're just going to bring that pressure up, 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 up. And again, stopping just before I get to the top. Set my lip. Okay, we're going to get through one more pull here on our cylinder, our base cylinder. Same process, little indentation. Outside hand comes up, meets my inside hand. Fingers work together. And stopping just before I get to the top. Okay. I think that's a pretty good place to start. Get some of the slip off. I want to get some of the slip out of the and or water, depending, out of the inside of the of the piece, because I don't I'm gonna start to close it in and I don't want any standing water down inside once I've once I've closed it in, I won't be able to get my sponge down in there to get that water out. So I want to make sure that there's no standing water left inside when I start my collaring process. Okay, so, but before I start my collaring process, because I'm going to, again, close off this area down here by collaring this in, if I'm going to be doing any forming in this area, I have to do that forming now. So what I'm going to want to do, because I'm sort of thinking about I'm going to do like a bottle of some sort, I want to sort of bring out, bring out the bottom and kind of make a little belly right here so that I can get a gentle, a gentle sort of curvature into, my, into the neck of, of my bottle. So, so I don't want to come straight up from us. I mean, I could, but I, I would like to maybe just make a little bit of a of a swell. So I'm just going to start at the bottom and with a little more inside pressure than outside pressure I'm just going to start this and I'm going to switch my I'm going to switch the position of my fingers. When I was working to, to bowl it out I've got my inside finger just below my, my outside finger so that the last pressure on the pot is an outward pressure, is a pressure from the inside out, and that gives us that little bit of a bulge. So then as I'm coming up now, I'm going to switch that, and now my inside finger is above my outside finger, and so the pressure that's left is an outside pressure pushing in. Okay. So now I've got a little bit of, a, of a, a belly down there that I can start to work with. So now it's just about the collaring, right? And collaring is just about easing. You just want to ease the size of the opening, ease it smaller. And it's, like I said, it's, the clay does not really like to do this. Um, so we have to be very sort of gentle with it. So I'm going to start kind of like, just like I'm kind of choking it, okay? I'm going to get it nice and wet with either slip or water, depending. And then I'm just going to bring a slight bit of pressure. I'm going to show you how slight that pressure is. So you can see, right, see that little bit of pressure? And then I'm just going to maintain that pressure. I'm going to slide my fingers up. 
Okay, so now it's kind of, from here to here is kind of the same, right? I'm going to do that once again. I'll try and do this quickly because I, I really like to keep these lessons in about 20 minutes. So again, I'm just, and now I'm going to work just above. I'm going to start just above where I started before, right? So now I can kind of maintain that curve that I started working on here. So just above there, I'm going to come in with just a little bit of pressure. I'm going to show you that pressure again. Right, see it right there? And then I'm just going to slide my hands up with that pressure very slowly easing the clay up. Now what you've noticed hopefully is we've gained a little bit of height by doing that. It's not only gotten narrower, it's gotten a little taller. But even more importantly if you look here it's gotten thicker. Okay, We've got by compressing the clay in it not only goes up but it also compresses in on itself and so we end up getting a little more material in that collared area which is great because then that's going to allow us to actually make some pulls in that area to get even even more height okay so let's um i'm going to do one more little collar here and again i'm going to start just a little bit above where i was before a little bit of pressure and then sliding my hands up, 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 and slowly off. Okay? So now, I've got all this great material here. Now I can actually go ahead and, I'm going to get a little slip on the inside. You could use water. I find, I find the problem with water is, at this stage especially, is you, you're, going to end, you're going to end up getting some some water down on some standing water down on the inside. It, there's a there's a sponge tool on a stick that you could use to kind of get that out of there. I, I don't have one. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of get down here, and now, now I'm just gonna actually actually make a couple of pulls with just my fingertips of that excess material that we've compressed together. You can see now we're really getting some a lot of additional height out of out of the original piece. So I'm thinning it. I'm put, making a pull to get it some more height. And now what that allows me to do at this point is to collar it in again a little bit more, right? So so that's kind of the, that's that's sort of the process. That's the repetition, right? Is, is we collar, gain some additional material, and then we're going to make some pulls on that initial, additional material and get a little bit taller. Okay, now ring it down. I'm just going to make another couple of pulls. Okay. So now at this point, right, if I was to say flare this out a little bit right I could actually do that I'll just show it to you if I were to flare this out right and maybe just if I just stop it here and then I could just pull a little a little spout here and I you know we'd have put a handle on it you'd have a nice little picture there Okay, so you don't have to do a ton of of collaring to you know to to achieve you know to your form. 
But if you really want to keep going and, and kind of like, a little, I'd like to get a little more extreme on it just to show you guys how, how small we can actually get with this. So I'm going to continue on. And you can see now, see how the, I've got sort of a high spot on there? I'm going to deal with that in a second. Now once I've gotten to the point where it's too narrow for me to actually kind of choke it so I can't really I can't really um, get my fingers around it without overlapping them I'm going to come in here like with these sort of like I call it like a six point six point compression so I've got this point I've got this point I've got this point and I, again it's the same process right you're just gently compressing and then just bringing that pressure up and you'll see the narrower I get here the more extreme that uneven lip is I'm going to get rid of that with my needle tool I'm going to do a quick little um, quick tip video just on on removing an uneven lip later on in the week Okay. Now coming in here again. Gentle compression, bringing it up. Gentle compression, bringing it up. Each time I go back down for the compression, I'm starting just a little bit above where I was before. So now I've got this, now I can take this material here and I can do another quick throw here, another quick little pull here. Try and get some additional height. Okay. Can you check the frame, make sure we're still seeing the top of this? Yep. Okay, so a couple more times. And we're going to get to our... Okay. I'm going to make a little pull here now again. Okay, and we're going to go through that process one more time. We just keep repeating that process to get a little more height and a little more height and a little more, and then, you know, compress, narrow, pull. Compress, narrow, pull. Now, what happens if you get to a place like this where I can't get my finger inside there to make a pull anymore, right? I could stop. <laughs> but if I, but I want to continue going. I'd like to get, you know, a little more height and a little, make this neck a little more delicate. So, so what I'm going to need, I'm going to need a tool, right? So I'm going to use this dowel. Get a little slip and a little water on it. I'm going to use this. So the dowel now is going to become my inside finger. And I'm just going to make my pull against the dowel. Okay. So we're getting a little bit higher. Now let's do this one more time. So 
So now, now my opening's so small that I can't even get the dowel inside. So, so what I'm going to use is I'm going to get just a same thing, same idea, just a narrower tool that I can now use. And I'm just using this to make my pulls. Okay. So there's a, you know, kind of a decent little bottle shape. Um, again, we sort of developed this uneven, uneven uh, kind of, kind of lip here, so I'm going to get rid of that. Um, if, fortunately, I don't have another little needle tool, but typically I would have something inside to do this. Okay. So now I'm just going to want to finish off this this bottle, and what I what I like to do on my bottles generally is I don't like them to end like that this sort of I like to flare the, flare the opening just a tiny bit so I'm just going to come in here with my finger and just give it a very gentle flare not much just a little one okay and then uh, I want to take about a little bit of material out of here from the base. So I'm just going to come in with my knife and just kind of following the curve. Just remove a little bit of excess material there. Um, at this point you could refine the shape a little bit with your with your rib or you could just wait and trim it. You know, put it in a chuck and then you could refine that, that bottom form a little bit. But I'm just going to come in here and just like this real gently. All right, and there we have it. Nice little bottle. Let's um, let's see how we did. Okay. Okay, here we go. Hopefully it will stay up for us. Alright. Not bad. Pretty even in here. All the way up and all the way through. Sometimes you're going to have a little, you know, a little narrowing here. This will be a little bit thinner and that's fine. Um, but uh, that's pretty consistent. I think we did a pretty decent job. Okay, thank you for watching. Um, again, I'm David, a uh, teacher at uh, Still Life Ceramic Studio. Um, and um, remember, love the process, not the piece. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others.